Hey what is up you guys it is your boy Sub-Zero X to bite again coming right at you from the streets of the Paradise City in Roblox. And today well I'm not really sure what we are doing today but I just grabbed some things up from the store and right now we are just walking back so that we can get all of this stuff in the fridge and what in the world who is that standing in my kitchen? Who are you? What are you doing here? And why are you in my kitchen? I mean it is my kitchen. This is not some sort of community kitchen that everybody can use. So alright you are a noob well big deal that does not give you the right to break and enter into my house. Oh wait that is basically what I do every time that I play hello neighbor. But that does not matter right now because I am not the one on trial here. Alright so right here we have a noob my young friends. And I have no idea what to do with him. So he is telling me that he has no idea what to do in Roblox because he is a noob and he wants to learn from the best. Well I cannot blame him, since I actually am the best around and in town I will do my part in this young noob his life career and I will guide him through his first hours of Roblox to make sure that we can transform him into a man, a pro, a superhero. Whatever floats your boat really I will just turn this little kid into a pro and that is about it. But how are we going to do that? I can hear you ask. Well that is pretty hard, since you do not just go pro in 2 minutes. It takes hard work dedication and a lot of effort to get something done in the life of a pro roblox player take me for example one of the first things that i ever did in roblox was go down a slide so i suggest that you do the same my young noob apprentice it is really easy as long as you are able to climb the ladder just like me and then you just slide down and do some sick flips on your way down it is not that hard just make sure that you do not drown at the bottom of this lake you know because that would be a pretty dramatic beginning for this video don't you think? Alright so I see that the ladder thing did not work the way that you wanted it to. Well that does not really matter that much I guess that you can try again until it works right. Like I said practice makes perfect kids. But that actually was a great jump. I mean you went straight up flying right there. Wait a second why are you not coming up? Come on dude I told you that you needed to swim and not to just chill out on the bottom of this lake. Do you even understand how dangerous that is? Man you have got a lot to learn today. So I will take you to the place where it all started for me. Well pretty much. This is called Wipeout. This is called Anabi. And by that I mean that the parkour is called Wipeout. But Anabi is another word for a parkour. So please just do not let the names confuse you. It is just all some kind of control confusion. It might just be a grand illusion. But this is basically where I started out. It was really hard. There was a lot that went wrong. And there were a few things that went right. But today this is not about me. This is about you learning how to live life and do these kind of things. So just go at it and falling does not matter you can just start again. So do not be afraid to fail my young friend. Alright I guess you can kind of just guess what to do right here. You can just push against this thing I guess. I am not that sure about it though just find some thing. Oh wait yeah just walk around it like this oh my god not like this. Alright that did not go right for me but then again I am just showing you guys that failing does not matter. It is all good to fail. You do not have to be afraid of anything right here we can just help each other through this and today will be a good day. So also if you are still a noob in Roblox, then doing these kind of things will drastically make you better at them. Like I said in a previous video, most people say that excellence is achieved when you spend 10,000 hours doing something. And I mean like I have spent well over that amount so I am basically the most excellent person in Roblox. I think that I have spent like 10,000 hours 10,000 times already. Yeah that is a lot of time and dedication my friends. Otherwise I would not be able to just take a shortcut like this. Really easy stuff right now but it will get harder by the time we near the end of the course. And then it will get really hard I can tell you that much. Oh wait watch out for these red giant balls. They are killers. But okay now that we have this behind us we can move on to the next one which will be those stairs. But first things first these blue plaques on the ground are really important because they are called checkpoints. So basically you go stand on them and whenever you die or just fall in the water you will just return to that checkpoint that you have selected. It is really cool stuff it is basically some sort of teleportation or something. It actually goes over my head with the science right now. Okay so getting up these stairs is not as easy as it looks because there is some sort of unnatural force that is holding you against your will making sure that you do not get up there. But with the right amount of willpower it is pretty easy to do. 
All right almost there you can do it my young apprentice. Right good job now we can just bullet through to the next part of the course which will get pretty hard. And that is not a joke this actually is a pretty hard part of the course right here. So after you have stood on the checkpoint again you can just follow me and I will give you a little trial right here. Making sure that you stay on this red thing right here and then you can just jump up and try to. Okay that is not what you try to do. You want to make sure that you actually land on one of those red things that stick out onto the wall. It really is not that hard man. So just try this over and over again until it finally works it will be all worth it once you actually end up making it because that is what it is all about. You need to make sure that once you get onto one red bar thing that you can actually stand on that one before you move on and go to the next one. That is pretty much the hardest part. But you will need some patience for that. Oh my god why am I falling alright on that note I will have to start all over again with this freaking wall of death. I really hope they change that into something way easier. I mean come on someone just pushed me down on purpose that is not fun at all. Once I find out who that was I will make sure that they get what they deserve my friends. Okay I have no idea what made my spin out of control like that. But alright just try it again until you make it my young apprentice. I believe in you. You are strong enough to do this and I will be here for you. When you fall, alright that did not take very long for you to fall down again. But it looks like we are being overrun right here this actually looks like it might become a bit of a problem. Wait what is happening right now why am I dead? Did that guy just stab me to death with that sword? Man this course has been getting a lot of upgrades on the violent side since the last time that I have been here. And that is basically around 2 or maybe like 3 months ago so who knows actually man. Who knows what is going on with this course. But I think that I have kind of had enough right here I guess that I will just teach you the next part of becoming a pro which is also being a businessman. Because why would you be a pro and get all that nice cash and have nothing to do with it? So you can spend your cash on trying to build a business. Like a businessman does in this rich man world. So this is also pretty easy you just have to buy some stuff using 6 and 5 and then you can just drag the furnace along to where you want it. You can rotate your stuff just by clicking on our for rotate it is really easy. And then once you have got some goods in your store you can start selling and you can actually start making even more money and you can become the richest businessman out there and maybe once you have achieved that level of richness and wealth you will actually become the next Donald J Trump and you will become our next president in 2020 or something I bet that is the year that the next election will be held so yeah it is not that hard to build a nice little store you just need to make sure that you can provide for your customers like I am doing by selling sodas and that kind of good stuff that always sells like really well. So I am almost done with my little humble store right here and when I am done with my store I will come over to yours on a little business trip and I will check it to see how good your store has become because you will need to have a pretty decent store if you want to become a pretty successful little businessman. It is a bit hard right now since you probably do not have that much cash right now but you know we cannot all be fortunate enough to receive a small loan of a million dollars. But you know it is not about the money it is about the heart that you put into making your own little store and starting your own little business. That is what it is all about so when you are done just say when. Right now I am just going to be filling my shelves with some things for my customers to buy and since I have a self checkout register I do not even have to be inside of the store to sell my products. It is that easy to make a lot of money in Roblox. You just have to make sure that you start the right kind of business in the right amount of time and when you are selling the right product well that is just a key to success. The customers will come flooding in and you will be swimming in cash like that rich uncle of Donald Duck if anyone knows who I am talking about. I bet that you guys do right. Otherwise you will just need to google him real quick. Alright my young little apprentice I am right with you in a couple of seconds so you can show me what you have built right here. It actually looks pretty decent but you kind of forgot to fill your shelves with some kind of products that the customers can buy. So even when they do show up they will have nothing to buy in your store. Well not that it actually matters because we are not really rivals around here. I mean look at my store. The people are already lining up to get some sodas while you are still here working your butt off for some cash. Well I guess that this might have failed a little just because I am that much of a pro that you really cannot touch me right now. But of course just making money is not all when it comes to becoming a pro. I mean you will still need to learn a lot of skills before you can actually become a pro. So I will show you how you can master some skills in the next segment coming up around right now. Okay maybe not right now but pretty soon. Just wait a second almost there it will be right up. 
And here we are alright so let me start with this. This is a pretty dangerous little track right here. I cannot promise you that you will come back unharmed because you know, this is just a really dangerous game mode. There is no shying away from it it is just how it is. I have used the words it and is a lot in that one sentence that it made my head hurt a little. But what also makes my head hurt is the fact that most of the times you cannot really control your fate in this game mode. So you know you will have to be really pro to be able to finish all of this in one piece. Okay so just hold on tight to your little bucket and hope for the best I guess. There is not much else that you can do. So watch out when flying because you might get a little bit dizzy like me most of the times when I am doing this. But of course I landed on my head, so that does not really work. But I guess as long as we have not failed yet we can just continue on with this track. Oh what in the world is going on here? I do not think that this is very good but that might just be me. I mean what in the world is this? Some kind of traffic in this game mode. It is like, we are stuck in LA traffic right now. So we will have to find some way out of this thing because we need to continue on if we want to make you pro in one day. How cool would that be if you would become a pro in one day? That would mean going from a total noob. Do not take that personal, but you are a total noob to just becoming a pro. And oh my god we are moving again. But a little problem I do not have a small box to sit in. I guess I will just glide down on my butt and pretend that this does not hurt at all. This actually is pretty calming to just be going down this waterfall or river or whatever. I wonder what is happening inside of that cave because I cannot see it. I bet it is like really dark in there like one of those sick tunnels that they have in some kind of water parks. Now that I say water parks I actually really want to go to a water park but I guess I have to teach you all of this stuff first before I can do anything at all. But oh no this is not a nice tunnel to be in I am literally burning my butt right now. Who had decided to just transition from water into freaking molten lava flowing through this thing. Oh my god I am not sure if I can take all of this right now. This is the reason why you have a box to go in. And wait a second this might work right here. We have this sick motorbike that might be able to just transport me all across this game mode even though it is really slow. I cannot tell you how slow this is you will just need to see for yourself right now. Man I really cannot take this right now we will need to find another way. Okay hold on that only just went right. That was some pretty sketchy driving right there. And I do not mean driving like sketch but just really sketchy driving. But alright let's see if we can actually catch up to our little noob who seems to be a lot better in this game mode than me. That is actually astonishing, maybe he is just learning like really fast. That would be pretty sick if that was what is going on, but you know who knows. That was not a question by the way I have no idea how he got this good all of a sudden when he was struggling with some red stairs a couple of minutes ago. That actually really amazes me, I guess that I am just the best coach that there is when it comes to this. I just cannot help it, I mean I am just one of the greatest around. But we will just try it again because I know that we can do this. We are Team Sub-Zero the representatives of the Sub-Zero subs so we need to make sure that we can make you guys proud. So come on noob do not be a noob and make sure that you can do whatever you need to do to make this course right now. Otherwise we will both just look stupid and that really does not suit me well. Okay guys I am sure that we can do this. I am not giving up until we actually are able to finish this level once and for good. The brick walls are there for a reason. The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. Because the brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want it badly enough. They're there to stop the other people. This is a quote from Randy Pausch out of the last lecture. So this right here is my brick wall, and I will not let it stop me. I will fight on and I will climb that brick wall so you guys can see that I'm not some who just gives up when things get tough because you know what they say right when the going gets tough the tough get going this is said by some guy in the base of operations in the division a great game by the way if you ask me but that does not matter what matters is that we kind of managed to do this even though it does not really look that promising right now at least we can get to the waterfall and we will see what happens next right here oh god this will be going wrong so bad right now this is insane oh the noob is gaining speed he is going to overtake me well I guess that I'm not as good as that I thought that I I want it is time to evaluate the day. So this is my young apprentice, and he has become the pro that he has always wanted to be. 